Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to film today's video. Today is my June inventory update. So everything that I have added in, used up or decluttered in the month of June and how those totals have opened the month and closed the month. Once this is all set in stone, I am going to be filming some six month check-in videos for my inventories, looking at the goals that I set at the start of the year and just checking in, you know, where we are in relation to being six months down from them and six months to go, are we on track or not? So really excited to get these figures set in stone so that I can do those videos. So let's get on into it. Now, first of all, I am actually cheating a little bit. So if you watched my last inventory update, I said I had the Culp UTSBF box that I needed to add in. I've actually left it in work. So I've still not added it in even in the month of June. So it is chasing a little bit because I know that needs added in, but my birthday is in July. So I feel like there'll be a lot of additions at the end of July. So it can get put in with that. July will be a sad month for the additions. It means there are no additions for this month. So across all categories, nothing came in. I did do a little bit of decluttering in June. So you'll have seen the videos. So I'm not going to break down exactly what all the individual items were but I put up my eyeshadow declutter and um, my NARS lipstick declutter and a makeup declutter through the last month so if you've watched those videos you'll have seen these items leave my collection but because I did have that six month check-in coming up I was thinking about it I did do really quite well with the decluttering this month so in the month of June I decluttered 27 items of makeup worth $702.91 so really pleased with that and I also decluttered two skincare items worth $77.50. In total for the month of June my declutters added up to $780.41 and that was across 29 items mainly from makeup but with the two skincare items as well so no declutters from hair care or perfume. So from my declutters onto the last category of how things leave my collection my empties so let's get into that. Perfume I have one empty it's from Guerlain it's from their Arte Le Matier range so it was worth $7.20 just for this tiny sample. Peacefully I am probably butchering that pronunciation it was a really really beautiful one it lent probably slightly more masculine but that doesn't really bother me probably more so in the opening it's got quite a sharp opening but it settles really really beautifully having said that because it is from that range it is one of the really expensive ones I think they're about 400 pounds now so I don't think I will be purchasing a full size with this one if somebody wanted to gift me a full size of it I would very happily wear it again but in terms of that price point there are others in that range that I prefer to this one and that I would rather have over this one so I don't think I would spend the money on the full size of this. In my makeup category I have two empties, a little mini of the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. This was worth $18. I really like what this does to my lashes but unfortunately it is very very smudgy so definitely not a mascara that I will be repurchasing or indeed purchasing in the first place. I think this was part of a set rather than being something that I purchased on its own. Did also finish a mini of the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm which is a lip balm. Um, this is really really effective. I would definitely purchase this one again. So one possible repurchase, one definitely not ever going to repurchase. And for the last small category which is here I have three empties. I have the Briogeo shampoo. I probably wouldn't repurchase that. I didn't hate it but I didn't absolutely love it. I have the IGK prenup mask. I really really enjoyed that but I don't think you can actually get that anymore so there's probably no point in getting into that one. And then last but not least I have the Charles Worthington texturizing spray. For a drugstore texturizing spray is a really really good one. I finished multiples of that in my time I really enjoy it. I'm also really pleased with that category to say that now that I've finished that one that is a category that I'm down to a single item in so I only have one more texturizing spray. I used to use a lot of texturizing spray so it was something that I had quite big numbers of because I would switch about between them all so I'm really really pleased to have brought that category down. On to my biggest category as always which is my skincare empties. Something I actually had a little silly moment and bin the packaging of as if keeping my empties is not something I've been doing for the last like four years or something. Where my beauty pie glycolic socks so I will be inserting a screenshot so that you guys can see what they would look like in the packaging if I did have it. They were worth $7.50. I haven't replaced them yet but I definitely will. I don't have a beauty pie membership so I probably won't be repurchasing 
these exact ones but really love this as a category. If you haven't used them before you put them on your feet, you leave them for two hours and then over the next sort of two weeks your feet will begin to peel. The peeling process is a bit vile but you are left with baby soft feet afterwards so really really like this as a product category. The ones that I have purchased in the past outside of the Beauty Pie ones have mainly been the ones from the OK brand so that's probably what I will purchase again. Makeup removers, I finished this one from the Seated Queen. This is a cream makeup up remover I actually really enjoyed this as a product. I felt like my skin just really would suck it right up as soon as I put it on. It felt like it really was doing something. I mainly used it as a makeup remover but it is one of those multi-use products that you can leave on as a mask and things as well. The only thing I would say is that in that sense then it's quite similar to the Lisa Eldridge one and this is more of a cream formula. The Lisa Eldridge one is a sort of, it's, it's a hard texture to describe actually because it, it is like a liquid but it's um sort of thick, it's not a really runny one, it's quite a viscous one, which I have really really enjoyed so I would definitely purchase the Lisa Eldridge one again over this one but if I got another sample or whatever of this one I would use it again, I didn't have any irritation with it, I had no reaction to it and I felt it did its job so I did like it but the texture of the Lisa Eldridge one would win out over this one for me personally. I finished two cleansers, so first of all the Eve Loam Morning Time Cleanser. This one you put onto dry skin, you massage in, you add a little bit of water to emulsify, it turns into a milk and it rinses off. I really really like this one, I actually have another one of this, I think I got this in a gift bag or something or a gift with purchase, which I got more than one of, so I'm actually quite pleased I have another one to use, I really enjoyed it, so looking forward to using this one again. and. Very glad, on the other hand, to see the back of this one. I've talked about this before, the Kiehl's Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I actually had a cleanser in one of my recent declutter videos and I was talking about it in conjunction with this. I did not like the texture of this. I did not use this in my face because it felt so drying. So I actually used this up by using it on my body, but even on my body, this felt really drying. It left my skin feeling really tight. So I definitely won't be repurchasing that. But I am really pleased to say that it's two cleansers out in my collection because cleanser is a big category for me. So I really want to be working through them. I used up two eye products, two SPFs and two moisturisers. I will put the screenshots up so that you guys can see the values etc. I didn't hate any of these. I don't have anything super exciting to say about any of them other than the texture of this, the Kiehl's Super Multi Corrective. I finished up full sizes of this in the past so if you've been with me for a while you know that I like this one. It's a really really rich one but it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin so I really really rate that. I would definitely purchase that again and the other one I would go out of my way to purchase again from this lot is this. I'm sure I will purchase this again. It's the Garnier SPF spray that you can spray over your makeup. It doesn't disturb your makeup underneath so a great way to top up on the go. And the others, although I wouldn't rush to repurchase them, I would very gladly take them all as gifts. I would gladly use them all again. Nothing that I hated here. I used up four face masks worth $117.80 towards my empties. Really, really pleased about this. Again, face masks are quite a big category for me, so something I really want to be working through. So over the moon to have used four within a month. Worth $14.40, I finished up this sample box of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. I really, really enjoy using these. They're great for being on the go. They're so convenient. They are very expensive for a full box, but if I was to get more of this little sample size box, you get three treatments in this sample box, and that is ideal for holidays, etc. So I would very much like another sample packet of these to come into my life. Finishing up with the body products, I used up the Ren Atlantic Kelp Body Scrub. I was not a fan of this one and I'd actually, this was a repurchase. I really liked the first tub that I had of this, but this tub just felt like there wasn't that much actual scrub in it. Felt more like I was rubbing a sort of balm all over myself that had the occasional grain in it. There was really not a lot of actual scrub particles to this lot. I do find sometimes with brands that are a bit more natural, etc., there's maybe more variation between batches and things. So the first tub that I had, I loved, repurchased based on that, but this one I just really didn't feel it was doing anything, so that would put me off bothering to purchase from this line again. I then have two body moisturisers, so a little mini tub of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, um, which I really enjoyed. I'm more interested in the other lines from Sol de Janeiro, the brightening cream and the elastic cream, so I'd be more interested in purchasing them in the future, but if somebody got me another tub of this one, which is the original one in the yellow packaging, I would definitely use it up again. I do enjoy it. 
This tub had one of the Lush massage bars in it. Obviously, it is empty now. The massage bar in question was the Tender as the Night one. It was absolutely beautiful. I think it was a limited edition from Valentine's Day quite a number of years ago and I'm so gutted it was a limited edition because I would definitely have repurchased that. It was Iris and Jasmine, I think, that was in it when I looked up to see what the notes were, but it was so, so pretty. If I could repurchase that, I would, and if Lush brought it out for any kind of limited run in the future, I definitely would purchase it again. And last but not least, or possibly least actually, I finished up the This Works Energy Bank Hand Makeover. I really didn't like this. It was like a BB cream for your hands. It was really, really thick. It did definitely visually smooth over like any lines or anything in your hands, but you could also feel it on your hands. Like it didn't ever sink in. It stayed on the surface because it was doing that sort of visual correction, which I don't know, unless you're like a hand model or something, it's not really that useful, I think, to the average person. Um, so I definitely, definitely would not repurchase this. I want a hand cream that just moisturises and sinks in and lets me get on with my day, which this is the absolute antithesis of, so definitely won't be repurchasing this one. So in total for my empties, that was two items of makeup worth $21.87, 19 items of skincare worth $450.74, three items of hair care worth $46.18, and one perfume worth $7.20. So the total amount that I used up in June was a quantity of 25 items and the value of those in total was $525.99. So in terms of my individual categories, I opened June with $14,557.04 worth of makeup. I didn't add any in, I used up $21.87 of makeup and I decluttered and we obviously know with the makeup that decluttering is how it's going to come down. I decluttered $702.91 worth of makeup which gives my new makeup inventory total for closing June off as $13,832.26. So I am really, really pleased with that. So that's taken it from being basically 14,500, just over 14,500, to being a 13 at the start. So under 14,000, it's taking it right down. I am really, really pleased with that. I do know realistically I've got makeup coming in for my birthday, so I know it's going to go back up, but I feel like that's such a good reduction. I feel like just taking it under that 14, I feel like I've like lifted a weight off of me. So I'm really, really pleased with that. In terms of the quantities, I opened with 596 items, used two and decluttered 27. So the quantities have gone down from 596 to 567. So it's not quite as impressive sounding with the quantities. It's really quite scary that it doesn't sound that impressive quantity wise when it is such a significant reduction value wise, but we're taking it down, so 596 was like just under the 600. So I was at 600 exactly at the end of March. And then at the end of my last check-in, which was April and May put together, I had taken it down to 596. So I was really pleased in that last one to be taking it under 600. And today we've taken it down to 567. So we are getting away from being like just under the 600 to being properly away from it quantity wise. So. I am still really pleased with that, it's heading in the right direction, couldn't be happier with the makeup at the moment. Well I could be because it could be significantly less than it is but in terms of where we are on the journey, really really happy. Skincare, so I opened June with $4,809.22 worth of skincare. I used up $450.74 worth of skincare and I decluttered $77.50 worth. That leaves me with a new total of $4,280.98. So again, a really significant reduction there. Really, really pleased with that. And particularly pleased, obviously, as well, because most of that is through usage. So for every category other than makeup, usage is really how I want to be getting rid of product. I don't really want to be decluttering. But the two items that I did declutter were things that I just was not going to enjoy using. And I've still got a significant enough amount of skincare that I'm not gonna force myself through using something I don't like, particularly when, as was the case with those two items, it was a cleanser and an exfoliator. 
I've got so many other things in those same categories. I don't need to be pushing myself through using products that I don't like when I have got so many alternative products to be using and when I do know that realistically some of these things will expire before I can use them up. So what is the point in me holding on to something to put myself through using it, not enjoy it, while something that I might have actually enjoyed using is expiring in the background. So I'm totally happy with the decluttering that I did do, but mainly happy because $450 of usage came out of my skincare this month. So really, really pleased with that. So that takes me down to $4,280.98 worth of skincare. So I feel like we are edging towards being under the 4,000. So went from 4,800, which is near 5,000, we're now at 4,200, so, well, really 4,300. 4,280 is near 4,300. I'm hoping maybe not by next month, but by the month after, that I'll be under the 4,000 with skincare, so really, really pleased with that from a value side of things. Quantity-wise, my skincare opened in June at 197 items. I used 19 items, decluttered two, and that means my quantity is at 176, so... Again, I feel like that's taken it from being nearly a quantity of 200 by being at 197 to being at 176, which feels, you know, a full quarter of 100 away from the 200 in a sense. So, uh, yeah, I think the next goal will be to get it to 150. That will be really exciting. On to hair care. I opened June with a hair care inventory worth $1,247.27. I used up $46.18 worth of hair care, didn't declutter any, didn't add any in. So that closes me off at 120109 for hair care. So just over the 1,200. I've definitely got some hair care for my birthday, so I don't know if it's going to be realistic to say that by the next time I'm updating you, I'd like to be under the 1,200 because I know it's going to get pushed up a bit. But um, yeah, I'm pleased to be near that 1,200. So fingers crossed, depending on how much I can get used up and whatnot by the next update, I feel like being under the 1,200 is hopefully not too far off in the future. Quantity wise, I opened with 59 items, used three, no other changes, so closing off at 56 items. So again, quantity wise, I think getting it to under 50 items would be really exciting. And then for my last category, which is perfume, I opened June with $4,819.37 worth of perfume products. I used up $7.20, which means that I am leaving with $4,812.17. Not a great reduction, but you know what? A reduction is a reduction. And that opened with a quantity of 45. We've used one and we've got a quantity of 44 now, so... I'm pleased with that. I'm not setting big goals for perfume this year. As you know, I really want to rotate, get the use of everything in my stash. So I'm not too focused on drastically trying to bring it down, but it's always pleasing when we do bring it down. And at the last update, I had added something in. So I feel like using something up this time has, you know, even killed that one a little bit. So in total for the month of June, I opened across all my categories with $25,432.90 worth of beauty products. I didn't add any in. I used up $525.99 worth of product. I decluttered $780.41 worth of product. And that leaves me with a new full total of $24,126.50. So I feel like that's gone from being basically 25 and a half, just under 25 and a half, to being worth just over 24,000. So I am really, really pleased. I would really like to see by the next update that that would come under the 24,000. As I say, there will be additions in July and quite a few of them because I've got the SPF box definitely needs added on. I've got things to add on from my birthday. So I'd need to have quite a number of empties or declutters to even kill that out. So I don't know if it's realistic, but if not by the next update, then hopefully the update after this could be under 24,000, which I think would be so exciting. I'd really, really enjoy that. Quantity wise, for totals, I opened with 897 items all in, added none, used 25, decluttered 29. So my new total is 843 quantity of items in my entire beauty collection. So I feel that's gone from being a number that's just under 900 to being 
under 850 it feels like a really significant jump down so again we'll see we'll see where the updates take us by the end of the year but I am very very pleased with how June went overall so that is everything for this video I hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching it now that I have done this video I'm going to be filming my six month check-ins on the goals that I set at the start of the year for each of the categories individually what I opened with and where I am now so I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth sunk into those and assessing where we are and seeing what changes might need to be made if any or if I'm on the right track and yeah I felt like I kind of wasn't but I feel quite I feel like those numbers were really positive for June so I'm feeling really good after that so thank you very much for watching this video do make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already so that you will see those six month updates when they go live and I will see you in my next video bye